Bakshla Hail, Chief Leshai Warriors. My name is Katherine Yates. I am one of the co-principals here in the elementary side. And I am Darren Adams. I am the other co-principal here at Chief Leshai Elementary. We're excited to welcome you guys back to school starting March 2nd, which is just next Tuesday. We're really excited because elementary students will be here in attendance Tuesday through Friday, and the hours of school will be from 8.30 a.m. until 3 p.m. when we will begin loading our buses. We're excited because we'll still be able to offer on Mondays um, services and support for students that have IEPs that need um, to have on-site services for Mondays. As we get ready to welcome back our students, we wanted to share a brief video that shares some of our protocols that we've developed for student safety and for our parents as well. So enjoy. Student arrival for parent drop-off. Step one, parent will drive up based on the path in map and roll down window or open door where student is seated. Step two, staff member will approach the vehicle, verify the student is masked, temperature is checked, and student health questions are asked. Step three, once student is cleared, they walk into the building. Student arrival for bus drop off. Bus driver will arrive at stop and open door. Bus monitor will verify the student is masked, do temperature check on student, and ask health check questions. When cleared, student will enter the bus and sit in the designated seat. Once bus arrives at school, student walks off the bus and directly into the elementary building. Breakfast. Step one, as student enters the building, staff will dispense hand sanitizer in student's hand and hand a sack breakfast meal to student. Step two, student will proceed straight to their classroom. Step three, teacher will meet student at the classroom and direct them to their designated seat where student will eat their meal. Student will remain seated 100% of the time that they are eating. They will be masked always, except for while eating only. Step four, when student is finished eating, they are directed to remask immediately, clean up, use a disinfectant wipe to wipe down desk, wash hands, and provided with an activity at their seat. Classroom. Step one, student will remain masked at all times. Teachers will ensure students are socially distanced. Step two, teacher will follow schedule provided. Step three, students will be taught to wipe their desk or space used if they transition to small groups within the classroom or within the grade band. Restroom use. Step one, if the classroom has a restroom, it will be used. If for some reason the student must use all school bathrooms, only one student will be permitted to leave the class at a time with a pass. Step two, student will enter the restroom, go, flush, wash, and return to their classroom immediately. Step three, water fountain is only used to refill issued reusable water bottles via the bottle spout. Hallway transitions. Step one, students will not be able to stand and wait in the hallways at any time. All students and staff must be prepared to move swiftly when exiting the classroom. Step two, student will remain social distance as they enter the hallway and will do so in class order. Step three, staff will ensure that students are moving swiftly to and from outside or to the loading zone for buses. Playground, step one, a mask or shield must always be worn. Step two, students remain six feet apart. Step three, use hand sanitizer before and after using play equipment. Step four, students assigned to an activity zone for the recess period, which rotates to new zones daily. Step five, 
Students should not wait in line to play a game unless they are standing on a dot. White dots represent active players in a playing zone. Step six, clearly marked spot for active players with separate marked spots for students waiting to enter the game. Oxley Hale, Chief Flesh High students and families. We are excited to be welcoming back our elementary students next week. We've been carefully planning their return. We're using the latest information from PTHA, Pierce County Health Department, and many other organizations to guarantee we can ensure your safety and success as we bring you back on campus for in-person learning. We'll continue to monitor the COVID trends and the case new cases as we plan for our return of our secondary students, hopefully in April. Again, wishing you the best as you return to school and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next week.